Welcome to Minecraft Survival, but it's basically an MMORPG. What I mean by that is that I level up my skills as I go and kill things. So at level 1, I start with a total of 5 hearts, basically 2.5, and, and I have to level up to, you know, increase that. As well as every 5 levels, I increase the damage I do by like 1 heart, I think? So that's pretty exciting. How many, like, hearts will I do when I get to the Ender Dragon? I haven't actually looked into how you level up things, but I think it's by killing mobs or anything like that, not mining like it looks like here. Because I am not getting experience, which sucks. It would have been neat if you like gained experience for per block you mine, but it's apparently just by killing mobs, which is also good. You can make a mob farm and get lots of experience. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Orchard of villagers as well. Those should give you a lot of XP whenever you get to the big leagues of having loads of emeralds and everything. And of course, to accomplish that, we first have to find a village. All right, I have my phone. Oh my gosh, there's a level full. Anyway, I have my first mob here. Level three. Interesting. Uh, what happens? Ooh, okay. Five experience. Level four. So I get 12. Okay, so it all depends on the level of the mob you want to kill. And there we go. Level two leveled up. Very cool. This sheep is only level one. How much will it give me? Two experience. This baby sheep is level two. How much will it give? Four. And here's a massive ravine. Oh. And I'm going to assume that mobs with higher levels deal way more damage as well. And maybe they have more hearts. Interesting. Ooh, there's a zombie over there. Let's get to that after I mine this iron. Imagine if there was like a leveler requirement for mining ores though. That would make this way better as well because, you know, it, more grinding, I guess. Oh, let's kill the zombie before he dies. Level 11. Ooh. How many experience points will this one give me? So I'm at 17 now and that gave me level 3 plus 2. So I got 13 experience points from just that one zombie. I also see a spider over here, so let's prepare and try and fight it. All right, here we go. Hopefully it spots me and comes over. Come on. Don't don't die now, spider. You're going quite high up. Oh. Oh, man. Okay, we got it. That was scary. He did a lot of health. I mean, the hearts. Okay, and that one gave me 15 experience points. Interesting. Ooh, and there's another zombie level 20. Ooh, that's quite high. How many experience points will you give me? Lots of health, too. And there we go. Level 4. Oh, my gosh, that was a lot. Luckily for me, they don't have, like, super abilities. Level 18 creeper. Bye, I guess. There's loads of mob here, so we can level up a lot, I think. Oh, this bat is dying. What level? is it though? It's level 6. Oh, I got it as well. Tiny little bit of XP. Can't hurt. I think I'm going to use the night time to hunt mobs and I have a bed just in case I need to make it daytime. A level 9 skeleton. How do you do? Hello. Oh my gosh, you do a heart of damage. There we go. Lots of experience points. Let's get some more coal for torches. It doesn't look like smelting things gives me XP, like uh, from the experience level here, but it does give me regular XP, so I guess that's good. But we can't actually level up our experience experience by doing it, which kind of sucks, but hey, it's okay. Can't have everything in this world, can we? And there we go, we're finally done smelting everything and now we can hunt mobs to level up. Oh my gosh, his enderman is level 46. He will definitely one-shot me if he even hits me. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a baby zombie here. Please, please, please. Oh my gosh. So basically what I had to do to keep myself safe from this baby zombie is have a half slap here so I can hit through. This is horrifying. And we just leveled up a lot. That was very scary. And after a night full of slaying mobs and a, oh my gosh, that's a ruined portal and a very few dangerous encounters, I am now level 11 and 32 through it. Anyway, let's check out this portal because this looks big. This is actually so cool though. Like it's massive. Three spare obsidian and not enough to create a portal. This sucks. What do we have in here though? <gasps> How many is this? Oh, it's just an eight, eight. Oh, this is definitely enough. I thought I just placed this wrong. Oh, that was scary. And place it up here. And ba ba ba. And there we go. We have enough. We created a too high portal. I mean, it's four. Two, two, two times two, four. And I just misplaced an obsidian right there. Ah, great. And there's flint and steel in here. And a shovel with mending. Let's slide it. Very cool. Now we have ourselves a nether portal. This is sick. I've got myself a bow and a couple of arrows. Let me just organize my inventory and then we'll go through. In... Let's try that again. Let me just organize my inventory and then we'll go through to the nether. Yeah, that's English. Let's go. My sword is almost broken as well. That is not good. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we won't make a new one but we'll go 
three to the nether and see how this goes. All right, this is interesting. Uh, hi, lava. Uh, please don't spread. It is right here. So let's dig that. And now we can spread lots of places. The most important thing now is to get some gold armor so I won't be attacked by piglins randomly. Then we gotta write down the coordinates and then search for a bastion or a fortress. And there we go. Four gold. Let's create some boots. Throw out mine. And there we go. Now we won't be attacked by random piglins. I know, of course, for the very most fun task in this whole game, searching for something useful in the nether. A good way to get loads of XP in the nether would be to attack zombie piglins because they have a lot of levels and, you know, there's loads of them. So we can do that, punch this one, and then we just keep punching them and hopefully we gain loads of XP this way. They have a lot of health though. I've killed only two and they've given me a whole level. That's insane. And there we go. We're now level two. No, almost 13. Come on, die. And there we go, level 13. Very cool. This almost feels like cheating, and my sword is about to break too. <laughs> there we go, there's my sword broken. Let's use the new one, and oh my gosh, they just keep coming. Level 34, that is so high. I've now made my way to level 17, and we've started on a whole new row of hearts. That's awesome. All right, I haven't killed every... I haven't killed anything in a while now. I've just been exploring and hopefully coming across a bastion or a fortress. Hopefully the fortress because then i could finally get somewhere <laughs> oh okay a bastion would do s well as well i guess since there is one right here oh that's interesting i've never seen it like that before all right now let's make our way through this impossible maze that is a bastion without having a piglin brute i won't shot me time to make my way back this sucks all right so this kind of sucks there's a piglin which picked up a bunch of my armor and everything so you know come here please please come back with my stuff sir um what is happening there's a whole bunch of mad piglins i have no idea what's happening oh my gosh yes oh okay no come on dude why do you do that just finally pick this guy off and he took all my armor oh this is gonna be painful what are all these sounds help all right i finally got my armor that's really good and now i have to run because this is actually horrifying let's try and find some gold and stuff and go from there there's a gold block here that's really good mind that and hopefully kill this hoglin all right luckily i think i can make my way to the center here without being shot at because I have gold on me. All right, which will allow me to block myself in with this chest and hopefully get all the loot. So let's try that. And that seems to have worked. Hopefully be something good, please. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Lots of food at least, but not what I wanted. Let's explore a little more and hopefully find some more chests. Another chest has been located behind this lava here. Some safe and iron sword unbreaking. We'll take that. Some nice golden legs that goes right there. And, you know, other stuff. Multi-shot is actually pretty good. All right, I think I found one of the other chest rooms here. Okay, yes, that's good. Now I just have to navigate so I can access them from above. And this piglin brute is level 39. That's insane. There's so many piglin sounds. What is this? How many? XP does that give? Because that gave a lot, I think. Oh my. All right. All right, I've made it so I can access the chest. There's more over there. Very cool. And diamond pickaxe with silk touch. That's amazing. And what about this one? Oh, I blocked it off. Oh no. And sharpness too. Not bad. Lots of obsidian. That's also very good. Now let's make our way over here so we can get more stuff. All right, I'm finally done getting to all the chests, I think. And now it's just time to trade with piglins, which is going to be pain. Since I have the iron for it, I'm making an anvil and getting the sharp two sword fully repaired so I can use it. And after a bunch of trading, we have basically all we need. We have 13 ender pearls, which is almost just enough. Lots of obsidian, which is good. And lots of fire resistance, which is very good. And we've gotten a couple more now, which is very good. Now we can finally go to the fortress and hopefully get some blazes. And of course I need the level, so uh, thank you very much. This is so loud. And totally didn't almost die again. Nice. <laughs> this is a little too perfect. Uh, that's interesting. Oh gosh, Wither Skeletons. Hello. Oh, Blaze Spawner. Let's go. Block everything off now. And Fire Resistance Potion. Very cool. Now I'm free to kill Blazes as I want. I think I finally have enough Blaze Rods. Oh gosh. Okay, let's check. We have eight. Very good. Time to make the portal. Oh gosh. And here we go. Very cool. Oh, it's night time. Hey, time to grant some XP and a village. Iron Golem, what are you doing? I just realized an amazing idea. Yeah, if I go to the nether now, if I get rid of these skeletons, I can make strength potions. 
Now there's a pillager outpost there. Normally, I would take that as a golden opportunity to get some totems of undying, but seeing as things have levels and probably hurt a lot, I won't. Anyway, time to go to the nether and get some glowstone. And we've got our glowstone. Very cool. And let's get some strength. Oh, whoops. Let's get some strength two potions. And to the nether we go with everything we have. That was too many. And we made 16. I'm a full strength potions. Very cool. Take this and let's go after we get some bad. Alright, so now that there's an ocean, hopefully the fortress will be under here, but it's quite small, so never mind. Oh. Oh. Well, that's convenient, isn't it? Let's locate 4-4 four, four, and let's go straight down. Nice. Very convenient to, you know, do the trick and end up right here. Now I just have to find the good area. You mean, the, I mean, the like the, the go to end portal thing. Also known as the end room. Useless. Useless. Funny creeper. And useless. Ooh, diamond. And that's not so very useless. Let's go. We can go to the end now. Ba -ba 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 Ooh, nice. Okay, this is gonna be dangerous, isn't it? I totally didn't get forget to set my spawn either. So if I die here, it's actually game over. What I think I can do before we even get there is just set up this thing here so I can level up my XP. Or I mean like the, the, the MMO XP. So we're just gonna look at a bunch of Endermen, hopefully get them to teleport me and then slay them all so we can level up. If the dragon so even nudges me, I'm absolutely dead. They have so much health, this is awful. Oh, the Ender Dragon is level 50, I just saw. That's in- oh my gosh, that's not good. The Enderman is basically almost there as well. And I'm not even halfway. I think if I- oh gosh, that's- that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Oh, we just barely escaped that. Hey, Dragon Breath, very cool. And there we go, level 25. We have the extra heart and attack damage, so now let's go kill the Ender Dragon, because we can. After I actually get some more blocks, because I need to build up. It is time. Oh gosh, that was scary. Help. Um, what? I didn't even look at him. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I put all this hard effort into doing this and I just get one shot by level 42 Enderman. That's so dumb. Oh, I'm actually so mad. Thank you all for watching. Oh, hopefully I can complete this another day. Take care and goodbye. Oh, I'm so mad.